everyone and welcome back to their watching summer supernatural red season 5 episode 21 so we're the episode before the finale i am really excited this one is titled two minutes to midnight so i'm stressed out but season 5 has been so good and I just want to see how it ends, so let's just jump back into it. Dr. Green, how was your trip? Oh, very productive. Mm -hmm. And how do we tonight, Celeste, my favorite patient? Oh, I'm at that. You never had chicken pox as a child. Oh, this is going to be fascinating. But I... Try and relax, it'll be all right. Are you gonna kill me? No. You're going to die. In four, three, two. Interesting. Did you know about this? What? About Sam's genius plan to say yes to the devil? Ain't about me. You can't do this. That's a consensus. All right, awesome. Then end of discussion. All right, well, look, no worries. Uh, Bobby's here. He'll wire you the cash. Dean, wait. I will? You said no to Michael. I owe you an apology. Guess. Yeah, it's okay. You are not the burnt and broken shell of a man that I believed you to be. Thank you, Bastille. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Hey, hi, uh, I'm looking for my Nana. Uh, her name is uh, Eunice Kennedy. Go around front and see the nurse. Do you mind just helping me out, sir? Uh, she's about, uh, about that small and gray hair, wears diapers. We're under strict orders not to kill the vessels. Oh, no, Satan wants them so bad. He can go all back together! She's trying to help you. Um, hard pass. You kill her? Too weak to take on Lucifer? Well, so do I. Believe me, I know exactly how screwed up I am. You, Bobby, Cass, I'm the least of any of you. It's true, it is, but I'm also all we got. That vaccine is chock full of grade A farm fresh croton virus. Simultaneous countrywide distribution. It's quite a plan. You don't get to be horsemen for nothing. So you boys better stock up on, well, 
everything. This time next Thursday, we will be living in zombie land. Wasted that crossroads deal. Fact, you get more if you phrase it properly. So, I took the liberty of adding a teeny little sub A clause on your behalf. He can walk? Just gonna sit there? something on the screen. What's he doing? What? You found him. I can't hear you. I said I found him. Death is in there. Oh. <laughs> What's going on, Bobby? Can we commit our act of domestic terrorism already? Let's go. Why was he looking at someone like that? What? Thanks oh. for returning that. What do you mean? Oh. Eat. Lucifer has me bound to him, some unseemly little spell. He has me where he wants, when he wants. I can unbind you. There's if he kills Lucifer, I will get of course you can't. But you can help me take the bullets out of Lucifer's gun. Mm -hmm. I understand you want this. He's gonna give it willingly. Yeah, oh. I'm inclined to give it to you. To give it to me. That's what I said. 
So I need a promise. You're going to let your brother jump right into that fiery pit. Uh, I mean, you have to say yes. Okay, yeah. Yes. <laughs> what do you think death does to people who lie to his face? Nothing good. Yeah. He lied. What you say? Back at Nivius. I watched that kid pull one civilian out after another. He must have saved ten people. Never That's stopped, never slowed down. Looked at him like that. Sam's got a darkness in him. I'm not saying he don't. But he's got a hell of a lot of good in him, too. Yeah. Absolutely right. Well, Sam will beat the devil or die trying. <laughs> I love that. Sam will beat the devil. That's the best we could ask for. Or die trying. What exactly are you afraid of? Losing? Or losing your brother? Holy shit! Oh my god! Next episode is going to be so crazy. You know what? I believed uh, Death. Like, what he was saying, I don't know, it makes sense. Like... The fact that they're so freaking old and they've been around since forever and now they have to like well i get that some of them would be like because i think it's a little old and tired when you know it would be kind of boring if there wasn't some complexity uh between like even the evil characters that are trying to make the world end you know we had the war horseman and he was just like worshiping chaos and he just wanted people to kill each other makes sense he's war and then pestilence who's just like he wants people to get sick and this and that and then we had famine but death i don't know why but because it's not like it's a normal thing and it no matter if you go out of your way to like bring death upon people it's still gonna happen people are still gonna die so he doesn't even have to work for his purpose to be complete i don't know if that makes sense but he doesn't have to do all that much except exist for people to die you know, it's not like pestilence where he has to like inflict disease and like people have to catch diseases in order to like die or, you know what I mean? So the fact that he's the one to be like, I'm being used as a weapon. I don't like it and I want out of it. So that's why it kind of makes sense and I love that because I wasn't expecting it but when they had the conversation I was just like you know what that's really interesting that's a really interesting angle to like ah oh, I love it I love that this is what's going on but I also completely understand Dean being like I thought he was I didn't think he was lying but I get why he would still be like you know I lied because there's no way I'm gonna let Sam just jump into Lucifer and go into that cage like, I get it. He's the older brother. He was always, like, rule number one is that Sam has to be okay in any situation. If Sam is not okay, if Sam is in danger, it's not happening. Like, that's Dean 101, okay? So, it's, it's normal. It's normal. And I love him for that. He's so protective of Sam, but it's also very important what... Um, Bobby said and he's also absolutely right and I think Dean needed to hear that from someone else because I think deep down he knows he knows that Sam is very capable he's a good person but it doesn't change that he would never risk Sam for anything he would risk himself before risking Sam for anything oh we can we talk about Crowley giving back Bobby the ability to walk 
Oh my god, I was so not expecting that. When he said, are you just gonna sit there? And he's like, no, I'm gonna river dance. <laughs> that was funny, but then he kept talking and I was just like, what? Can he walk? And he could walk. I'm so happy. I'm so happy for him. All right, so I think we can safely say that this episode was amazing. And um, next episode, we're gonna finish season five. All right, so I'll see you guys there. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.